This problem is white to play, and the objective is to make a call in order to have a chance to live on the corner. So to make a call, this will be the classic shape. And for the purpose of this problem, we have the correct answer. But there are a couple questions. Number one, how does white live exactly? Right? Where are the two eyes? So black captures the code first. And if white captures back, let's say black relents by connecting to this stone. Now how does white live? And the answer is to just simply increase the eye space. And white will be able to live like this. Right? So as long as white plays at number nine, white is a living shape here on the corner. Because if white doesn't play number nine, and if black plays here, then white will not have enough eye space to live. So white must play the bend here at number nine. Another question would be, are there any other moves for black to play other than the Atari? And the answer is no. If black plays here, then white will play this. Now white is threatening to make an eye here and to cut off this black stone and make another eye here. And there will be an extra eye here on the corner. So white will make two real eyes. So black, by playing this, um, has given white the chance to actually live and make two real eyes. What about this? Then white can actually play here. By playing at three, white has a real eye here at the one one point on the corner. And it is threatening to either capture this one black stone as a second real eye, or to expand here and build another real eye. So once again, black will fail. And the wrong move here will be for white to connect. Because this pattern, please remember, is not enough for a living shape. White's eye space is too small. If white tries this, then black will play here. Now white needs both of these points to survive. But white cannot occupy both with one move. So white will die. So those are all the main variations for this problem. Hope you like them. And thank you for watching.